David Morrell is 4-0. Oh, three of his professional wins by knockout. You're wondering, how is he in the main event in his fifth pro fight? Well, he, he had a main event in his last fight. Uh, he's an established Cuban amateur star and beautifully skilled and high-level, world-class already. Take a look at tonight's tale of the tape, brought to you by Credible. And you see David Morrell Jr., 23 years old. Mario Cazares is 30, both six foot one. Reach, there is a slight advantage to Morrell. The amateur pedigree in favor of Morrell, but Cazares coming off a win against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Uh, has had trouble getting regular steady fights, but now steps up and gets a shot at a big time rising star. Main event time, let's go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from the Armory here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by TGB Promotions in association with Warriors Boxing and sponsored by GEICO. Whether you rent or own, GEICO makes it easy to bundle home and car insurance. Go to GEICO.com today. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, the President, Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, Judging at ringside, Patrick Morley, Octavio Rodriguez, and Nelson Vasquez. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Minneapolis, it's time for the main Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with white trim, hailing from Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at already 166 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 12 wins, no losses. Five wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight making his first attempt at a world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated challenger and the world rank contender. Introducing Mario Casares. the ring, the defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with gold trim. He is fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, by way of Santa Clara, Cuba. He weighed in at 167 and one quarter pounds, a sensational amateur, undefeated as a pro, four wins, no losses, three of his wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated, reigning and defending WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World, introducing David Morrell Jr. And a three in charge. Now to give instructions, we have Mark Nelson. Okay, gentlemen, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. You know exactly what I expect. World championship fight, expect a world championship effort. Punches right here are not considered low. Touch gloves, good luck to both of you. Big reaction in Minneapolis, the new hometown for David Morrell coming out of Cuba. We love him here. Tonight's odds provided by Fox Bet. Morrell is a big favorite. You put $100 on the favorite Morel, you'd win $102.86. $100 on Cazares, you'd win $1,000 with a payout of $1,100. Of course, we've just seen Nate Gallimore beat Leon Lawson, Paul Rivera beat Omar Juarez, and Brandon Glenton beat Efe Apoche. So Joe Lennox, yeah, I'd still be shocked, but I'm more yeah. ready for it, I guess. Anything yeah. can happen. We've been prepared. This big step up there for Mario Cazares. Again, his last fight against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. September of last year. Went to the cards early because of a cut. He got the decision there, so he steps up, and we're underway in round one. David Morel on the white trunks, Mario Cazares of Mexico in the red. And he's 
going to get an idea of the pedigree of Morel very quickly, his ability to control space, his full repertoire, and he looks in tremendous condition, Joe. Remember last fight, he had only three weeks of training, took it on short notice and came in overweight. That is exactly right. It's very different tonight. It, 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 it's always a great confidence point when you know you had a good camp. Now, getting to Cazares, now we know about Morel and how great he is. And he's a southpaw, he's difficult, he's fast, he's hard hitting. Cazares is a very, do you see how he's going to tie up a Morel on the inside? He does that a lot. And he's good at it. He's good at wearing you out and frustrating you on the inside. And on the outside, he wants to be out there. He's got a good rhythm on his feet, and he's a good boxer. He's accurate puncher. He's not a big puncher. But we're going to see what that punch he can take from Morel, because Morel is a big puncher. Bro. You know, Joe, you're right, because he fights straight up. Uh, but then he will use that jab, long right hand, and then he will tie you up. And he will. He did it against Chavez Jr. all night. Kept tying him up as he lands a body shot. Looks like that was a little low. Yeah. But, you know, Cazares is going to use every and any tactic he can to win this fight. Even if it means straying low every so often. And holding and getting rough and wrestling. See, and look, Morel getting back at him. But he'll be right now. See? And Morel really... That is, uh... No, I'm saying Morel really wanted to get him back that, that time because uh, he showed it on his face and he went out and did it. That's right. And then you saw Cazares come back in and use his head a little bit. Yeah, this is going to be a dicey fight. We knew this going in. If you watched the Chavez Cazares fight, you knew how bad Cazares frustrated Chavez and really wore him out. Yeah. And Morel's doing the right thing when they're getting close, though. He, he turns his head to the side so he doesn't get head headbutted or anything like that. Yeah, he's got to watch out for that because Chavez is going to punch out of that clinch as well. He doesn't want to stay in there and uh, just you know, submit to the clinch. Oh. Oh. So that's to his credit. Oh. A big, big piece of the Cazares got dirty and he said, well, he's not going to be able to do that to me. Right. And sure enough, Cazares did do it to him. Right. But sure enough, Morel fired back and then ends it legitimately and clean. And, and when he answered back about that question I posed to him, he was very confident that he knew how to do and what he was going to do. And boy, did he do it. Morel is something else. This is a special cat. Let me oh, tell you, definitely he is something special. else. Sixty-eight pounds. And that is that's Tony Oliva. Yes. Cuban, yeah. former major league great. Right. The batting champion in his own right. Great athlete. And here to see David Morel on Santa Clara Cuba. And you do have to wonder, look, the, the super middleweight champion is Canelo Alvarez. And Caleb Plant has one of the belts. Hopefully they get it on and do a full unification. Perfect. But Morel is not far away. Oh, not at all. Let me just tell you something. He, he's a special guy, Brian. He, he, this is no ordinary fighter. He's the, he's light years ahead of a lot of guys out there right now. I believe it. I, I would feel confident putting him in with just about anybody at this point. Wow. And you know what else he can do? We saw. He can turn. He can turn it on because you see. Brian, when he turned his face and said, oh, you hit me low? Okay, this is how it's going to go. You're going to get it right now. And he gave it to him. And, 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 and Brian, and, and, if I might, Brian, just give uh, props to Adonis Frazier and Sakara Frazier. Uh, uh, Adonis Frazier and Sakara Frazier. Uh, 
them who have been training uh, Morel and what a great job they're doing. That was just fantastic. They, they, they knew exactly what they wanted to do and they executed the process and took out Cazares. Not a guy easy to defeat in one round. No, amazing. I agree. I agree. So nice again, just to throw it in, look, he's a tough guy, came in in top shape. It was only the third opponent that he's faced with a winning record. So he has struggled to get top-level competition. But he is a guy who uh, took care of Chavez Jr. Uh, he did beat Canelo Alvarez in the amateurs at the age of 14. But still, if you're looking for an amateur signature win, a Canelo win is pretty good. Yeah. And so, yeah. Cazares came in in top shape. And he got starched in one round as Morel made a statement. We're going to take another look at this and how it all ended. And Mark Nelson stopped it immediately, looked into the eyes of Mario Cazares. Well, look at his leg. said, no, no, this watch, is over. Watch his leg. It almost looks like he could have broken that in that type of fall. I've oh. seen that happen before. Not, um, on, not only that, he could have hurt his neck on the way yeah, down on yeah. that bottom rope. That was right on the button. And, it, and it's the first round when you're not warmed up and used to taking the punches. You know, it's a, uh, it's a, wow. It's, it's a tough thing to look at sometimes. When you, and it's such a great guy, Cazares. You know, we interviewed both these guys for at length. But uh, what a devastating knockout by Morel. Sportsmanship there at the uh, the end of the fight. It's good yeah. to see Mario Cazares is doing all right. Again, his leg, his head, everything. A little dazed there, but good sportsmanship there. David Morel uh, giving his condolences. Uh, first round knockout win. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 32 seconds of round number one. He is the winner by way of knockout and still the undefeated WBA super middleweight champion of the world, David Morrell Jr. That's including the guys at the very, very top. That's Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant. Tonight's corner cam is sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Only pay for what you need. And Joe Goosen, Lennox Lewis, not much to see here except for that. Well, you, you, what you saw is a star. I mean, he looks like a star. He acts like a star. He fights like a star. He, he's an amazing guy. Uh, every time I see him, look, I've seen Cazares fight. I know who he is. Nobody has done that to him before, okay? He's a very tricky guy. And that goes to show you the power of Morrell. What a great, great night for Morrell. This kid's going to be something special in the future. I mean, even the combination he threw, he just threw a double left hand yeah. and straight down the button, solid shot, and it was unbelievable, and he got the results that he wanted.